be the toilet. Woo! You ready to do this? We've got a new tool today. But we also got... Hey. Do you want to go for a ride? I think he wants to go for a ride. We got the hired hand out here doing work. Yep, watch him go. Gone. He gone. He gone. He gone. He gone. Yeah, we got the hired hand out here doing work. The yard needs... The yard needs some attention. So, hear that. Let's grab the keys. We also have to run. Got a new... I guess I've been... I had to go in and do some... You know, work on the old death machine. My eyes are hurting. Look at him go. He's gone. Uh, anyways, we've got to take this thing over to a guy who I think might hire. How did he even get here? I don't even see a vehicle. So, yeah. We've got a 4L Sexy E. That's what I like to call him. <coughs> Excuse me, GM 4L Sexty E. We're a bad one. We're going to take this out. And uh, we've got a guy that we're going to probably employ for building some transmissions for us in the future, I think. But uh, hey, watch out. We're going to go in the shop here, go back in the shop here and see if we can give you guys a tool haul while the hired hand's working. Show you something new, so hang on. All right, so on to the tool haul, because I know that's what you guys really want to see. Besides the logistics of my day, whoop -ah! fly down. All right, hopefully the lawnmower doesn't drown out, but anyways, we're going to kind of get right into this and talk about this. This is a brand new tool from this company. And uh, pretty excited about it. I did give a sneak peek, but uh, bam, here it is. Capri came out with their new sockets. Stubby Impact 3H Drive. Phosphate Magnesium. Magne magnesium Phosphate. Um, ASM, ASME Specs. CMRO 3H Drive. 6 point. Uh, let's talk see what it says here on the back they said about them. Just what I said. Stamp sizing on it. Laser etching, laser etching on them. The stubby length, which is obviously very shorter. And they use the wave drive technology. Wave drive is their, their proprietary thing. A lot like everything else. I also, you guys know, I have the Nano Astros. And I really do like these. And I also have stubby Carlisle's. Now, why do I end up with three sets? I bought these on the last Napa deals, real deals, that was actually good. <laughs> so, some of you guys know, because I've heard you comment before, the last Napa deals that had like some really good, awesome deals, these were like 20 bucks. And uh, I thought these were going to be handy, and they were, but then I bought the Nanos. I didn't know Capri was going to send me these. They kind of sent me an email and said, hey, we already sent them out. I was like, alright, cool, I'll check them out. So let's crack them open, take a look at them, and then we'll get into doing some technical spec specs. We already did use these. We uh, we had a nasty job here the other day on a three-quarter uh, three ton Ford. So we already used these, but they come in a nice EV foam tray, which is always pleasant. Nice little pockets there. Labels on the tray, you know, for your viewing pleasure. Very convenient, easy to find, and they hold in there exponentially well. Not only that, very handy to grab this set and go. Kind of like that. Uh, as much as I've been doing on mobile stuff lately, I got to tell you, I'm looking to set myself up with a pretty nice little mobile set because I'm going to be doing a little bit more with this stuff of out in the field work as well. I'm trying to do more in the shop, but I really want to do some out in the field work of uh you know just doing some quick quick and dirty stuff so we'll spin you around take a look at them up close and do some actual measuring 
All right, so we're going to look at the 15 millimeters today. We're going to compare them because they are pretty much the most relevant. Make sure I got the right bolt here. I do. A couple things we're going to be looking at. We're going to look at, be looking at the actual uh, depth of these to see which one is the shortest. Uh, write down in the comment box right now. And if you haven't liked, comment, or shared, or subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, do that if you would. If not, give me a like at least. Um... You know, I'd appreciate that. That's really what this channel, you know, survives off from is viewer content. It doesn't survive off of most anything else. So, but we're going to take a peek here and we're going to look at actual depth of the socket and see which one um, hole has the best, best depth. And we're going to look at the actual length and see which one's the most shallowest. So let's, uh, let's start off with Carlisle here. Turn on the old digital calipers. Make sure it's zeroed. We're going to measure the length of this one and see where we're at. Looks like we got a solid 24.08. And then we've got a 22.07 for the Capri. And then on the Nano, we have a 2252. So that looks like the uh, Astro Nano is actually. Uh, or the Capri is actually our shallowest one, believe it or not. <coughs> is that right? Did I measure that right? 22 two. and 2254, yeah. So the Capri is actually the most shallowest. Wow. 2207. Why am I getting different measurements? Let's get this in the right place, CP, so we're not measuring this wrong. Okay, 2199. Two, 2246 and then the Carlisle is a 2397. Should we compare this to a other socket? Yeah, let's hold on. Let's look at another socket. Alright, so I got a couple of uh, regular chrome 3.8s and you're going to see the original length of those is 28 and then I have a Koken nut grip 27. So you get the point of it. Now the biggest thing is, is I want to check is the depth here inside of this so we're going to look at to the bottom of the broaching on this and see try to get some kind of spec on this 1128 astro is a little bit harder to That one's a little bit shallower, 10, 7, 8. And then I'm sure that the Carlisle is going to be a lot deeper. 10.55, huh. And the broaching on it. Now why am I measuring this? Well, um, Torque Test Channel was on my live stream on Friday and they said that they noticed with a lot of stubby sockets, they had problems. Now I have not noticed that with any of these. Uh, looks like this one is so if you have leave a comment down in the comment box if you've noticed those popping out so this one's a 1685 all right <clears throat> now that we got the measurements out of the way let's look at this and see yeah this one definitely has a lot more depth in it for the Carlisle obviously it's a taller stubby socket and then the Nano is pretty good too the Capri's good, looks pretty good too, as far as shallowness. So, comparing them to them, uh, the Carlisles I'm not really overly excited about, but they haven't been terrible. But honestly, this is my only 3/8 sockets that I use now. I don't even have a standard impact uh, shallow 3/8 impact socket. I only use these now. Obviously, having three sets is a little bit overkill. But I bought the Nanos because. Uh, they go up to 24 millimeter. This one's up to this one's sets only to 19 though. When I bought it, they didn't have that, and they extended the set out. And I haven't bought the uh, expansion, which Astro does have an expansion. Okay. So, in long and short of it is, is, the Capris are actually a little bit shorter, which is pretty cool. It looks like the depth works out really good on them. I think that they're pretty good. These are definitely uh, for tight space situations. Now. 
it is a little bit of a toss-up. I will say I like the hex broaching on the, or the hex hexing on the Astros, and obviously I have the Astro wrench here. I do like that, so that's going to eat up a lot of space for these to save yourself. I mean, overall, you're going to be at a 20, 2316 with the wrench, and then we'll use the old Capri ratchet with the capri socket measure it and it looks like we're going to be at a total combined distance of 37 so astro is going to win that even though this the these are shorter obviously that's going to be a little bit of a impact but i do have one more option let's check this out hold on so i've had these suckers for a long time these are from gear wrench uh, I don't think they have the part number on it, but it's a socket adapter for a ratcheting wrench. So you can use this on the socket. Let me knock the whole camera over. Use this on your ratcheting wrench. Obviously, I use these Cornwall Flex ones. It has a lock on them, so it securely fits them in there. If I get the thing in the right place, come on, CP. Butterfinger CP today. That's what happens on a Sunday. So now we have a really low profile. Let's see where that lines us up. See if that helps us out any. A little bit. We got a 34, 54. Still the Astro is going to have a little bit more clearance it, uh, advantages, clearly. 23. Not bad at all. But... If you're looking for a set of Capri sockets, I will leave a link in the description. I honestly don't know what the price is, but I'm sure they're very affordable, which is also a good selling point. Oh, look at that. I didn't realize that. Once you get the socket in there, let's see if there's any clearance issues with that. Oh, no. No, we're good. Yeah, not bad at all. So, anyways, the Capri sockets, Capri Stubby impact sockets the set no skips 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 and 22 and this nice eb foam tray very affordable set definitely want to check them out uh capri tools has definitely not been a uh, bad tool in my opinion everything that i've used including their ratchets have been absolutely phenomenal and uh, I completely enjoy their stuff. The impacts, everything, all their tools have been awesome and the warranty is absolutely great, online warranty. So give them a check out if you haven't, Capri Tools. Thanks for watching guys. Remember like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.